So today I will uh, discuss how to connect uh, S7 1200 uh, Siemens PLC into Automation Studio. So these are the components uh, installed here. So we have two cylinders, so cylinder number one, cylinder number two, and we have solenoid number one. Uh, solenoid number two so I want to move this uh, sequence so cylinder one first and then cylinder two next so I put here a sensor or limit switch and then another limit switch so limit switch number one so limit number limit switch number two limit limit switch number three so first is to create a uh, your computer must have a KIP server. So, for example, in my case, I installed a KIP server AX6. So, first is to create a channel. So, for example, in my case, we have create channel number one, and the driver of that is uh, Siemens uh, TCP IP uh, Ethernet. So, you can do that by go to file and then you create new. Okay, so after you create channel one, so we need to create device. So I will create a device one, and in that device one, so you can create a tag for a specific components. So for example, I uh, the name tag is limit switch number one, and then the address I use that for Siemens PLC, which is M uh, memory address. And then limit switch number two, limit switch number three. Uh, this is for uh, starting and stopping of the uh, system. So solenoid number one, solenoid number two, start and stop. And then after you create the tag, so you go to uh, this. Is, you go back here in Automation Studio, and then you go to Tools, and then here. No? So we have here Communication Manager. So you click. And then first is uh, OPC client DE. So OPC server. And next is to create. You click here. This is to add add OPC server. So after you 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 click. So this is the pop up window. And then uh, I will check the OPC DE uh, version 2x and version 3x. And then I will use uh, local. And then you click, uh, this is a search local OPC server. So, and then the computer will found this. And then you select uh, keep server, uh, keep server AX version 6. And then you will click uh, apply button. Okay, and then again, uh, this is the aliases of server. So, uh, I, 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 I accept the default name, it is server underscore uh, hashtag one. So click apply. So next is to create a group. So you click a group. Okay, and then add group, add uh, OPC group. So the name will be uh, group uh, hashtag underscore hashtag one. And then in download arrow, so you select a server one, and then you click apply. So next is a link. So in group here in link, so uh, you click a download uh, arrow here, and then you select group number one. So here we got we have here the uh, OPC uh, item identifier. Uh, we have here, uh, scroll down to channel 1. So this is my channel 1. Expand and then expand this uh, device 1. So we have here the uh, LS1, uh, LS2, LS3. So running a uh, variable. Okay, so next is to create a link. So to create a link, so you are required first is to identify what is the uh, identifier of this uh, solenoid. So, so if you double click and then you select, so you can see here, uh, this is P 
uh, underscore 1, so B1, so in number, solenoid number 2. So we have here uh, P12, uh, P12 underscore 1, so B2, B1. Okay, so again, you go back to tools, communication uh, manager, and then you link first, uh, first I will link this uh, solenoid. So I will select here solenoid number one, and then here at the automation studio, so you select, you choose the, uh, you find or you locate a PE, a P3 underscore, uh, uh, one B one. So this is so first is to select, and then you select here solenoid, and then uh, I the signal from uh, OPC going to uh, automation studio. Okay, so and then you click this uh, button, create a link. So next uh, solenoid number two. So solenoid number two, and then the. Uh, the link of that you link uh, P12 solenoid number two is P12 underscore B1 underscore one B1 so select that uh, P12 and then you select here solenoid number two and then you create uh, create a link you click this create a link so next is to link the uh, LS1 so we have limit switch number one so you can look it here in uh, we have limit number one. So this signal is from ano, from from automation studio going to OPC. So oh, select LS1, uh, LS1, and then you select here a uh, signal from automation studio going to OPC, and then you create a link. So you do the same in LS2. So LS2. LS2, limit switch number 2, and then create a link. So next is limit switch number 3, and then limit switch number 3 in uh, OPC, and then create a link. Okay, so that's all. So I will close this uh, windows. And then uh, next is to run the simulation. Okay, so the simulation is running, and then if you look at here in my VLC, so this is not started yet. So this is the program. So start and stop for system, and we have the cylinder one, control for cylinder number one, and control for cylinder number two. So I have here the, uh, I create here uh, HMI. So this is the start. So if I will click the start. So the system now is running. So the uh, program in PLC is running. And then if you look at here at the uh, uh, OPC quick. So you can see here the uh, solenoid 1 and 2 is on and off. So we have here the on and off. Uh, the same also sa uh, element switch uh, 1, 2, and 3. So this on and off. And if you look at here at the automation studio, so the piston will sequentially uh, extend and then uh, retract. So I can stop my, uh, no, my system. So I will click the stop. And then the system will hold and stop. So if you look at again here the OPC, so the system now is uh, full. So we have the uh, limit switch number two now is full. So solenoid one and two is full. So again, if I will click the start, so the uh, piston will uh, sequentially extend and retract. So this is how to connect uh, Siemens uh, S7 1200 VLC into uh, automation studio. Okay, so thank you for
uh, watching.